Dinosaur mummies are one of the rarest types of fossil you could wish to find on the planet. We're used to finding occasional bones. If you find a few bones stuck together, a partial skeleton, it's, it's really exciting. If you find a complete skeleton, you're absolutely ecstatic. But to find any soft tissues associated with a skeleton, and in this case, what looks to be a complete skeleton with soft tissues as well, it's breathtaking. This is a very, very rare fossil. The CT scanner that was used to image inside the body and tail block of our dinosaur is absolutely unique. It's at the absolute physical limits of size and also at the physical limit of physics, so we can actually recover an image, a slice of what's going on inside that block. What we have preserved is, is a fossil. It, it is a fossil dinosaur. But the fossilisation process, the actual replacement of original bits of dinosaur with the building blocks of rocks, minerals, which are dissolved in solution, they, they move around in groundwaters uh, which surrounded our body originally, and slowly the minerals formed as the chemical laboratory, which was the decaying animal, sort of started reacting with its environment. Now, there is a trade-off here. Can we encase enough of the animal rapidly enough in these minerals to just have a whiff of the original organics present, locked inside the material which is effectively replacing our dinosaur? And if some of these original organics are locked in this mineral straitjacket, then that is what we want to target, that is what we want to image. To say what is there still to learn it is unfathomable, we don't know. What is absolutely clear, there are many, many more questions we have already raised that need answering, and there's going to be many more we're going to find over the next few years. That's what makes this such an exciting fossil.